Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. You're not live aside episode 280 of the Kicking Shit Podcast. Yeah. Let's get it. <clears throat> Joining me today behind the camera is D Chocolate Delight. She is the woman king. She is the homie. How is it going back there, D? It's good, it's good. You can catch her on. Are you all kicking it with the homie? Yes. You are? Who the fuck is that? I know, right? <laughs> We're gonna get you fired. They they came they came after the fact. I went there as a guest to talk about dating over a certain age, and you know, I fuck with it. We're gonna well, get you over a certain age not to come in to do stay sales. Don't be using our producer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> talk that shit, James. Don't be talk using that our, shit, James. Our, Your little friend can't come here. in the house. And Y'all ain't came and said, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, ain't like the comment. Ain't subscribed to damn thing. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> they going in, going bro. Sound back. like somebody daddy. Right. I'm to my right, man, it is the funniest of talented. <laughs> It is my boy. I'm going through Jells, it too, man. I'm going AKA it too. Jelly, put him on the bread till he's fed. What's Young Picasso, good? your GD, Yo. your GD boss, man. It's my boy James D Jellyfish, man. What's, What's going, going on, my on, brother? Man? What's up? Y'all hiring? Huh? Y'all hiring? Who hiring? <laughs> Shit, let me know, nigga. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Jay Lana? <laughs> Jay Lana, nah, bro. Nah, we ain't hiring this year. Put me on a payroll. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we ain't hiring this year. <laughs> Put me on a payroll, bro. Not this year. I'll do it all. Maybe next year. Oh, shit. To my left, man, it's my boy. It's my partner. It's mm. my dog. It's Mr. Jukebox. Johnny, a.k.a. Crown Daddy, a.k.a. Crown Poppy, or the L. Himmelow Poppy, the Avion Don, the Terramonic God, the Malarga Ho, Mr. Still, your girl give it right back because she got camel toe. It is... Hammer toes, Mr. Juke. One of. I wish. Daddy, are you on the radio? Jukebox Johnny, man. What's going like. on, brother? <laughs> I'm, on, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I was about to, I was about to cancel a lot of <laughs> But I was like, let me just get on the road, bro. Hey, that's the realest shit you ever said, man. Oh, I would have been bad. I would have been hot. Because I was about to cancel a y'all, man. <laughs> for a, a mental health day. <laughs> man, you, for real. Let me know next time, man. Huh? Let me know next nah, time. Nah, I'll say I need to come. You know what I'm saying? James, you need a group up? Yeah, sometimes it is Hell a little no. bit therapeutic to get on this <laughs> mic and talk to y'all. Yeah, man, you know. I mean, real. Johnny's always up for giving hugs. Just Hell I, no. I tried you to hug one. that nigga one time. He acted like I was trying to kill him. Man, keep your distance. And that's what's wrong with you, bro. I had some positive energy I could have gave you right. that day. Give everybody me a high had, five, nigga. Some doubt. Nigga, that worked. Yeah, 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 I don't know about the Dwight Howard you, bro. What happened to the goddamn... Uh, all right, that's Embrace. It. That's it. That's all you need. Fine, that's all, that's all you need. Fine, fine. All right, man. That's that's thank you guys for joining us on another episode, man. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. You can find this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and SoundCloud. Uh, also, we are on YouTube. That's right. If you're watching this right now, subscribe, like, and comment. Other than that, man, um, we already know how y'all doing. Y'all fucked up. Yeah. And I hope everything gets yeah. better. Let's, let's do this. Out. I'll be all right. I'm going uh, to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> I got a little process I do when I'm when I'm down and out. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm going to start that process tomorrow. What's your process? Help me out. Well, you know, the first thing I notice when I'm in a, <laughs> I'm in a rut, I start to clean up. You get that nut yeah. out. <laughs> nah, see, that's my problem. <laughs> that's my problem. But, you know, you start to clean up the things around you, up. man. That's what you're supposed to do. So, oh, you know, right. go vacuum out your wheel bar. You go... Um, Change your sheets on your bed. You do something, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fresh sheets okay. will always make you Yeah, up. yeah. You clean up stuff. I'm scared to test something right now. I might throw it. <laughs> what? Some real. If I pick up something, I might throw it. Nah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> you going to get through it, though, bro. I'm always yeah. a call away, man. I'm always a call I away. I definitely won't call you. Okay. <laughs> Definitely was. I mean, I sat here and tried to comfort the nigga for like I, at least I five just, minutes. I'd rather just go through it. Did, it didn't work out. I'm a good listener, man. I, I feel like I get funnier once I get in a, uh, a a certain kind of state. Ah, okay, uh, okay. So I, I I feel like I'll be all right. Laughter is your medicine. Yeah, I guess. I feel it. I feel it, man. Let's carry on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all right back there? I'm I'm good. I am good. good. Life is lifing, but you know, oh, we make the best of it. What's the recipe? Help me. Uh, <laughs> shit. Working out, cleaning up. I might put on some loud out. music. I heard that do something for you. Endorphins yeah, endorphins, man. Endorphins, yeah. They say it's like having sex. 
See, uh, apparently video <laughs> games ain't working. Just, apparently that blue nah, light is yeah, fucking yeah, you yeah, up. Blue light yeah, fucking the, you the up. Video games well, do mess light. with you, man. That's what yeah. they say. Ain't nobody been they playing say video games are beating off. What you? I was about to get started, man. Um, so this week. I'm scrolling through my timeline as usual, and I started to see um, hate for Cheesecake Factory. Now, I couldn't figure out for the life of me why anybody does not want to go to Cheesecake Factory. So I took a minute to Google the menu, and I went through the menu, and man, that's a long menu. Oh, yeah. But it looks like a delicious menu. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What? And dessert. They serve breakfast on Saturday, Sundays. The only. Belgian oh. waffle. Wow. Cinnamon toast waffle. Wow. They even had a Jamaican type dish with chicken, black beans, black beans, rice. Um Damn. Yeah, plantains. That's, that's racist. Why? It's appropriation. <laughs> exactly. Cheesecake factory. So this menu literally exactly. had everything. They got low main on that this bitch too, nigga. And so I couldn't, Nation. I couldn't figure out for the life of me why this would be beneath a person. And then there was a list that dropped, and it was a list of places women would not go on a first date. Hey, wow. And on number one on that list, the Cheesecake Factory. That's why I'm done with these. Can I'm I just, can I'm I just, just ask I'm why is the Cheesecake shit. Factory taking all the heat right now? No, let me just say this. Go ahead, As bro. in front from the man's standpoint, we sick of y'all shit. Okay, I, I, I second. We, that. we are <laughs> sick of y'all shit. Second First of all, that. I remember when Cheesecake Factory used to be on a certain level. Mm-hmm. Let me let me tell you something. When we was growing up, this is how we we judged the restaurant. If we went there on prom, that's what I'm saying. Then goddamn, their restaurant was up there. That right. was like something you could look forward to. Could you get a reservation right. on prom exactly. night for Cheesecake Factory? You know what I'm factory. saying? But now y'all talking about Cheesecake Factory ain't good enough. That's You're regular tripping, degular bro. for them. Regular degular shit for them. A plate in there is fifteen ninety nine. If your <laughs> ass is too expensive for fifteen ninety nine, I don't want you. So we the, don't need to be talking. So the, <laughs> so the key, so the key to this has been, this is a list of place of women. Places women will not go on a first date, meaning the first time they meet you, they don't want the first time y'all hang out. They don't want to go to these places. Now I find it interesting that some of these women won't go to the Cheesecake Factory, but they will go to some other places on this list. So I think that's actually cool because the list is, hey, the list is satire, by the way, not yeah, to be yeah, taken yeah. serious. I, if you think the list is serious, you're crazy. I've oh, been okay. right. been dating for a long time. I ain't had nobody. I had one person say. All right, me and you not going to work. I'm not going to a coffee shop. All right, cool. I know right away, hey, she ain't going for coffee. Why I can't work? Why you just can't work through it? Like, because, I don't like to go to a coffee shop. Okay, we go somewhere else. But, Why is that such a big deal? But she saved me time. But see, this is what I'm it, mad at. Why I got to get all the answers right on the first try, first go around, and ain't nothing? What the fuck? <laughs> I actually, but I actually get it. Like, if, what if, the fuck? But uh, it's okay. Example. What? If if you meet a girl and you want to take her out and you want to take her to the and you want to take her to the cheesecake factory for example, and and the and the girl tells you I don't want to go to the cheesecake factory, uh-huh. she did you a favor. Well, that's what's up. We're going somewhere else. So you nah, like she could be go good. No, out with her. It's, it, it's a rap after that. She gonna be like, cut them off. That's what I'm saying. Calling her friends, this cheap ass nigga. Yeah, that ain't gonna take me to the cheesecake factory. Well, you can I say. don't see nothing wrong with it though. Like. I had a couple people tell me like after I tried the coffee thing and it didn't work, they was like, "Shit, she did you a favor, bro." No, my thing is, what's the conversation prior to all this? Because if I asked you where you wanted to go, you were, uh, then I took your ass. You came back I'm, now as a problem. I'm just hungry. I'm just hungry. See now, that's bullshit. Yeah, it is, brother. <laughs> yeah, it is, brother. Oh, that's God. bullshit. I cannot. And I it will is. not stand. I, I hate that shit. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. mm, I'm so hungry. What you want to eat? Oh, uh, I don't know. All right. Well, so, you ain't that damn hungry. So how you do that? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> no, how you get God, continue. Continue. <laughs> how you do that? If you ask, and this is a simple cheat code, it has never failed. What? If you ask somebody, if you ask your woman, what do you want to eat? And she say, I don't know. Then you make the decision. It's really that simple. So if but, I if I take you to Cheesecake Factory, we eat Cheesecake Factory. Well, then that's Factory. that's where we're going, and 
Oh well. And if she don't want to go, then this you she saves you time. And I'm money. gonna open up the door. I get it. <laughs> but a lot of times, if a if a woman asks you, you what you want to eat, most men will say, "I don't know," or whatever you want to eat. But instead of doing that, just name three things that you want, and she will choose one of those things, and you get every bit of what you want. Yeah, but I mean, men are easier to please. I, I, I say I don't I don't <laughs> know if men that works for every beings. woman. <laughs> Like men are simpler beings. Like the nigga can say pizza, wings, fries. You're gonna find a place for him easy. A woman just gonna say, I don't know. I'm I don't disagree with you. If she don't know, then just pick the spot and she gonna have to find something on the menu. I say you need to start giving hints. I'm not dropping on dance. Yeah, you need to text me <laughs> a, a place of restaurants that's cool right. and not cool. You figured out what I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> so you ask me where we going. I'm like shit, let's just fuck with chilies again. <laughs> <laughs> At the open, I don't have a problem But I know exactly what twice. I want from there They nah. got drink specials You can get your little drink on for the low low We good You know what that's called You basic Hey news flash <laughs> News flash gentlemen If you live in one of the large cities in America That has more than chain restaurants You're not gonna be allowed To get away with going to A cheesecake factory A Chili's Applebee's uh, Olive Garden. Now these were the ones on the list that were actually solid. Give it, give it, give us the whatever you got, man. So if you live in a big city, this list is for you, kind of sorta. If you live in a small city, bro, you good. You could take her to McDonald's. You straight. I'm you moving back to good. the borough. Yeah, if you live in Greensboro, <laughs> nah, Greensboro, Greens, growing. but nah, but yeah, if you they live got in Greensboro, factory. Man, that's what I'm saying. I think Greensboro was what Kabuto was the shit, the Japanese shit, the Japanese oh, steakhouse. Oh, uh, I forgot the name. Uh, that, yeah, that used to be the spot. That was the spot, like. But other than that, you could get all, you could and get away with the Flemings, the steakhouse, yeah. But you could get I, away with the Smoky Bones. Oh, what yeah. if I take you to a food truck and it's the best food you ever had? Now you feel stupid because she ain't hungry. You but know she what would saying? go to the food like, truck. Why, if you just want to eat, why it matter where we going to eat at? What if I got this bomb? But she place don't want to eat. It's a first you. date. Y'all missing it? What if it's a hell of so a buffet? So where you want to tell me where they want to go on the first date? I'm gonna tell you where they don't want to go. Fuck these <laughs> they don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory number one. Yep. That's fucked up. That's crazy. They don't want to go to Applebee's. That's number two. That's crazy. They don't, don't want to go to Chili's. That's number three. That's also no. crazy. They don't want to go to Delicious. Chipotle. They don't want to go to Chipotle. I understand it. Okay, well, I, I, I can agree with Chipotle. Chili's I can kind of understand Chipotle. Yes. Um, but I'm cool. still on the fence with Chipotle. It's so to eat. You they, ain't paying for it. They don't want to go to Olive Garden. <laughs> no. It's number five. That's crazy. Endless pasta. Now, this one makes sense. The movies. I get it. Yeah, the movies like is a hard movie. place to go on the first day. Number seven. Talk. Talk. Good coming out. Number seven makes sense, too. What's Your seven? house. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. I could be Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Any fast food chain. Nah, I see. That makes sense. Too. <laughs> KFC just dropped them new chicken wings. You don't know what you're missing out on. You yeah. can eat that for Cause lunch. Because the conversation going to be the same. You they can KFC. Eat that on your lunch. Or wherever you want to go. The okay. conversation going to be the same. Okay. What if you want something real quick? You hung, I know you're hungry. You better eat this Captain D's. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a first <laughs> nah, date. Cap, Captain D's be having the worms and they Alfredo sauce, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Captain D's be having them worms and they Alfredo. You better get you a couple hush puppets to hold you over. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm saying conversation gonna be the same regardless where we go. This is crazy. Hit you with a few jokes, tell you how much I love my mama, you know, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> First date shit. Shit crazy, man. D can you get the definition of date for these niggas? <laughs> Just please. Can can you look it up? Just legally what the you word wanna is. Wanna go to Arbridge? They got the meat. <laughs> 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 I'm not yeah. going somewhere I don't eat on the regular. No, because then right. I'm going to fuck around and eat some shit that's going to fuck my stomach up. Now no, I don't want to stay and have a conversation with you. Why do you think cheap got to fuck your stomach up? <laughs> All right, we got that don't make no damn we sense. We got Buffalo Wild Wings. Wow. You don't want to go watch the, the Panthers play? I mean, I... I mean, living in a big city, I don't want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. So Did they put the game on? What if there's an actual game? Can there's you go to better it? places keep, to go watch keep the game. Go, keep going. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Keep, I ain't cut you off no Wing more. stop. That's crazy. <laughs> they take forever to make them wings. Nah, now. Yeah. We go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm picturing You got the definition of a date? <laughs> I, I do. Real quick, we're going to stop halfway through. What's the date? A date. Um, of course it's multiple But I will say That we're speaking To a social Or romantic appointment Or engagement Ain't nothing Social or romantic About 
Yo Crib, the movies, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wing Stops. You know what? Shit. Notice I didn't I'll name the social. first five. I'll say social. You and a fast social. food chain. It's I not hate romantic. To say it, okay, it, not romantic, but social. Okay. I hate to say it, but it ain't even guaranteed you go get some pussy on that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that shit about this shit romantic. Yeah. Well, why? Okay, this go ain't ahead. No, I don't this know where y'all want to go with meet this. Up. All right. And a then- buffet. <laughs> IHOP. Wow. But this, the asterisk to IHOP is three o'clock in the morning. If you just met her at the club, boom, first day IHOP. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, Denny's. Yeah, Denny's be selling pussy out the back. <laughs> 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 the gym. <laughs> Who in Denny's is selling pussy out the back? The one on Sunset. Okay, all right. <laughs> Church. Not. They don't want to go to Starbucks. church. Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Coffee dates. Why you don't want to go to church? <laughs> Ice cream dates. What if he love the Lord? Family right. functions. Nah, definitely not. Like Movie that. night, so back at your crib pretty much. Netflix, Hulu, etc. Uh, somewhere that requires a long drive. Bowling. <laughs> nightclubs. Hookah bar. A bar for just drinks. Waffle House and sports events. You can't go to a bar for just drinks. So did they have a Some list of drink. where to go? No, because no. it was satire, man. Some I nigga made that it's... shit in his notes, put it out there, and it was a conversation. But it was, they had the internet going crazy because it was women and agreeing it to it. Honestly, been and that's the purpose. That he <laughs> couldn't take women like where he failed to take women on first date and, possibly and to be honest like the women who were coming on this shit were mainly sticking around the olive garden the cheesecake factory the chilies yeah but i guess i guess i see both sides like i don't understand why that's not good enough for a first date but when you do live like we live in charlotte dog you can get you can take her to a place that's chilies adjacent that ain't a chain so i get it you know what i'm saying but if a nigga live in like Winston Salem, you know I'm taking you to Chili's. I yeah, guess like that's if, ain't if nowhere said, else oh, to I take wanna, you. Let's, you know, I'm kind of in the mood for a burger. Let's go, let's go to Chili's. I know I don't eat Chili's on the regular, but I'm not gonna make you feel bad for your decision on that. I'm like, hey, you ever heard about this place, Pinkies? Or you ever heard about this place, Bad Daddy's? Like, let's, and Pinkies let's check that out. cheaper than Chili's. Right? See? Nah, ain't nothing cheaper than Chili's. Shit. I know Pinkies something that just. I know something just just make everything all better. Just get you a fat girl. She ain't gonna care. That's you fact. take her. You take her yeah. to a church function and get that a plate James from a church function. <laughs> and she not gonna give a damn. Anybody else on this podcast? <laughs> get you a big. I joint. do not oh, fat God. shame get fat you, women. Get you a big John and just call it a day. And that was James McClain. He was standing. You can alone. bring her sneakers. She gonna be honest. <laughs> no one is agreeing he with him. Standing on business. Yeah, he is standing on that big women. Let that nigga vent, man. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Since he don't want to have no private conversations. The only time it's going to be a problem is if you didn't think about... (laughs) And that was James McClain once again with another fat woman. Damn, baby, you want two two for 20s? Oh, God. (laughs) I've never seen a big girl eat a lot, have you? Uh, (laughs) That's because she's being modest. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why big girls are big. big I've only seen them eat... Crazy on my 600 pound life. I did yeah, not yeah, see yeah. that shit. I never seen that shit. Yeah, regular life. regular big girl don't eat much. I, don't, they, yeah. I think maybe they just drink a lot. Who and even knows? a bigger one. I don't know why they so big. Don't eat like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just went in on big girls like that. I nah, love big girls actually, nah. man. It's all good, girl. Ain't nothing like a big one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> he didn't mean le- that. Look fellas, at your face. fellas, that was the list. My bad. <laughs> uh, so do what you will with that. Me personally, I do want to go to Cheesecake Factory here soon. So. Yeah, man. Please bro, date, up on bro offer, date. Man. Uh, I was about to say you can't definitely. take no girl there. You might as well <laughs> niggas gonna, gonna be hanging out the in there. <laughs> Y'all want to find a man? That's where they all gonna be at now. Now I don't understand. <laughs> my 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 biggest thing is yo. It was mad women seriously like yo. You take me anywhere, just don't take me to Cheesecake Factory. That's, that's why. What's wrong crazy. with Cheesecake Factory? Yeah, that's what I can't that's figure crazy. out. I don't know because I still will go there and get me a slice of cheesecake, and I don't think. Yeah, that, so I just haven't had straight. the food. And forever because there's so many more options for me to eat. But I've gone to a restaurant and literally swung by Cheesecake Factory on the way home because yeah. I'm already in that area. If they had one in North Lake, I'd go often. Cheesecake Factory, hear me now and hear me clear. Get the green uh, vegetable wall and put it up and they'll like you again. Oh, so it got to be the, photogenic. Yeah, it's like, got to be yeah, y'all need an photo. Instagrammable wall what? and then all the girlies are back on your dick. And take Cheesecake Factory, factory off the is floor beautiful in They floor ain't really the safest to walk in ah, heels. That could be another reason. I see. Oh, well, I've been to one. Uh, it's one. The last time I went to one was in Arundel Mills in Maryland. This shit Arundel. was. Uh, oh, that one's This nice. shit was nice. Yeah. I was like, yo, we had a nice little seat. We had the little two-person two, two person seating area. 
I remember what I got The Korean uh, fried chicken shit Oh yeah Man that shit was fire Take your I ass to Tintin's Shout out to Tintin's Tintin's is good Tintin's That's is what I'm good. saying Take you up there to Tintin's right. And it's dark in Tintin's bro It's a good good romantic scenery in Tintin's Nah nigga they ain't fucking with Tintin's They don't like that <laughs> They got the fish women in Yo, there Yo women do like these places nah, they got man. roasts you don't like Tintin's that. probably do got roaches. <laughs> the internet be lying, bro. All these places be having roaches. You'd be surprised, yeah. man. Be mad, bro. I they will be- say a lot of women go a lot of places that they just it sound good on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah bougie. Nigga, they well, was probably- you when you ain't been, had a man and for so long, and you finally get the opportunity, you like shit. Well, I'm going here because I don't know when the next opportunity gonna come. I was about to that say, Beggars can't be true. <laughs> your <laughs> ass ain't playing for the pay. So goddamn, you might as well just come on. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm sick of this shit. Let All me right. tell you one more thing before <laughs> I go. Team man, woman, hate Before session. I go, this is not really that. It's anybody that like to go to these nice ass restaurants. The average person probably make I don't know thirty bucks an hour. I don't know. Yeah. So you telling me you get two fifteen dollar drinks? Them two drinks is worth an hour of what you did at your job. Damn, nigga, you breaking this down to prostitute That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Before y'all go out here and spend all this fucking money. <laughs> It's like That's all I get for so, an hour? <laughs> for two right, drinks? I worked an hour for two drinks? Nah, I'm good, dog. Damn. I'd rather go somewhere else. Now, if you would have said all I make is thirty dollars an hour and you want me to spend what I make in an hour on two drinks, I could feel I would have felt saying. Nah, you ain't say that. <laughs> What I say? You ain't say that, sir. You said the same thing. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Yeah, it wasn't like that. But either way, I feel you. Yeah, you I, I get. That's what all. That's the only thing I'd be mad about. It's like, all right. So we are gonna go out and spend a hundred bucks. Yeah. That might be what three, four hours and of my work day. Is low balling. Real players that not is real low. players not stunting this list. Niggas who get women, niggas who talk to girls, don't stunt this list. Cause you know, as a man, if you talk to a lot of women, you're gonna you're lying. You you would be okay if I wanted to take you to the Cheesecake Factory. Exactly. And, but really, it's the bottom of that list that was killing me because it was blatant lies. Women love hookah. Oh yeah, she's exactly. meeting you at the hookah spot. Definitely. Women want to go get that drink. She'll come get that drink. I ain't never had nobody say no to a drink because guess what? The drink is at a bar. The bar got tapas or they got food, some type of food, small bites, so she can get something to eat. So, no. The bottom of the list was was, was killing me. It was like, all right, you, you're definitely going to a hookah bar if you want to meet up. You're definitely going for for, uh, for tapas if you want to meet up. It's like right. some of this shit is, like, clearly bullshit. Like, it is. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's all for fun, but. Take your ass it was a co- conversation worth having. Take your ass to Caribbean Hut. Oh damn. shit, they ain't real enough for the U.S. Caribbean fried hut. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Italian uh, cheeseburger, uh, U.S. fried chicken, be slapping. Nah, that Caribbean Hut go crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How you know you ain't never tried? <laughs> you ain't know. You don't right. know what you gonna like. It's the same. They get they same. They get they meat from the same place these expensive <laughs> restaurants get their shit from. All right, man. Um, from there. Jay Z, hover, hover. Jay Z says, "Take the money, take the money." Cause he know he ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said he gave it. Oh, Jeff Jarrett died. Damn. Let's listen in on this one. Take the money. Cause you got them. You got all that. We have a preview of Gail's rare and exclusive interview with music mogul Sean Jay Z Carter. Jay Z gave Gail a personal tour of the expansive. Book of Hove exhibit at the Brooklyn Public Library in New York City. Hove is, of course, one of the Grammy-winning rapper stage names. The exhibit is a remarkable look at the Brooklyn native's extraordinary career, and only on CBS Mornings, Gail got the VIP tour. Jay-Z even discussed an online debate that has gone viral. Listen to this. There's something interesting online, Jay. I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you had a choice between getting paid $500,000 in cash or lunch with Jay Z. Yeah. Which would you choose? You gotta, t- you gotta take the money. What, you gonna, what I'm gonna say? Yeah, you know I mean everything now. I'm gonna say. No, everything. no, only because people say, of course you take you take lunch with Jay Z because the wisdom that you would get from him would would be so uh, beneficial to you 
there would yeah. only be a matter. You but would take them. We have a preview of Gail. Yeah, because you, you got them. You got all that in the music for for ten ninety nine. That's a that's a bad deal. I would I wouldn't tell you to cut a bad deal. Like I don't take know. the five hundred thousand, go buy some albums and listen to the albums. <laughs> it's all there. If, if you, okay. you if you piece it together and really listen to the music for the words for what it is, it's all there. Everything that I said was gonna happen, happened. Everything that I said I wanted to do. I've done. And th there's the blueprint. The blueprint literally to me and my life and my journey is, is there already. I like that, man. He put that eloquently. Take the money. I never understood why people said they would take the dinners. I never understood the dinners thing. I, I think online, man, people got this thing of wanting to sound like they better than everybody else because I'm going to get the knowledge. Like, no, nigga, give me the money. I'll figure out the knowledge <laughs> right. later. That's what I'm saying. And like you, you said, the knowledge there, he multiple interviews on the internet. Yeah, he discussing his stuff and the rap music. And like, we live in a day and age where um, that type of information is just being pumped out anyway. They give yeah, us game every day. Exactly. You can listen to a weekly podcast and you can learn something. Your ass gonna take the damn dinner with this nigga and still be broke. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got all the wine. motivation in the world. Just gonna learn how to pair wine broke. with a, uh, a, a meat. That's all the you only learn. one that I I honestly would take a dinner with is the one when they circulated before. It was like, would you sit with Jesus or sit with God versus this amount of money? Like that's the oh. one for me. I would actually take the the conversation. I would sit oh, with yeah. Satan. You sit with the devil himself. Shit. I want to know, bro. Oh, you said that? No, I would. I, I you mean, just said that. No, I just said that out loud. Yeah, I just. Boy, I would sit down with the devil. over there right now, like, boy, <laughs> why, why the Lord, not? Lord, go find, Lord. go, go, go find a switch. <laughs> go why find not? a switch. And it better not be What's thing. What's wrong with You gotta with think, the man. The devil, what you gonna say, ask the devil? I want to know what led him to his decision making. <laughs> he gonna be like, why are you sitting right here? Like, shoot, that nigga was my enemy. But why? Like, <laughs> this man created you. Why you turn your back? Hey, man, there's people out there that hate their parents. Let's get down to it. Like, I think that's the ultimate. Like, you you know, they interview, like, Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted yeah. Bundy. Like, that's the ultimate psychopath interview. I'm not sitting down with that nigga. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I, 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 res nigga. I respect it. I don't. I guess I wouldn't choose. If I had to choose, I, I mean, choose, I'm, I'm not sitting down. I think you got a list, too. I feel like God not going to answer all my questions. I just don't like Jesus. That's he why I did Satan it. That's will. why I did it. Oh yeah. That's how Satan said. <laughs> you said what he said? I just don't like Jesus. That's why I did it. I can, yo, I and, and 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 I think he might sound that way. I mean, South Park did come. I think he oh, may yeah, sound he was, that yeah, way. That's crazy. Like y'all think he like the Bible said he's one of the most beautiful angels. So yeah, he might do. He might sound that way. Just don't Which like crazy Jesus. Why I think why that's why I like that. Uh, what was that show? Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a good show. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, like shit. I'm gonna sit down, <laughs> figure that shit out. Oh, I need y'all grandmamas right now. I do need my grandma. I mean, you so need old. To come up in here and, and, and how will you put an anointing how, oil on everybody? How you be up on the conspiracies, but you scared of the devil? No, <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> like get out of here. First Tudor of all, make George Bush. If you if you believe in God, you gotta believe in the devil. You know what I'm saying? How you not gonna believe in God? I ain't say you didn't him? believe in him, but I just don't give him the power. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to sit with that nigga when I know G.O.D. sit on high. And he going to be looking down <laughs> at us having dinner. He going to be like, nigga, you just going to eat dinner with I'm this nigga? He going to make you choke. <laughs> you choke on that asparagus. You want to know, nigga. You supposed nah, to leave I it to me. Wouldn't, I wouldn't take not prayer. one bite in front of Satan. I mean, yeah, you supposed to come to me in prayer, nigga. You over here eating with this nigga? That's not oh, a prayer. Hell no. It's an it's a interview. And well, even, I don't know. He, he sit on high. He might get it fucked up. Even, G, even Jesus had a whole conversation <laughs> with the devil True. while he was here on earth. So what, oh, he what, did? what are we talking about here? Well, he don't want us to talk to him, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm not going to Bible us out. It's All good right. enough for me, sir. Now, Monique this week wanted to explain why she calls her husband daddy. I thought this uh, thought this was creepy. But wow. Here we go. And a lot of black women would say, why do you call him daddy? Because he's raising me. He's raising me. My father probably stopped giving me what I needed when I was around 13 years old. So now you got a woman that's 13, and now I'm 35. And now I got a bunch of money. What we you consider no to be a bunch of money. <laughs> Let me just be real met. clear about oh, that, okay? God. Now I got this money. Now I'm taking care of everybody. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna make me grow up? But when that man 
when we were just best friends and when we got together, this is what he said to me. He said, when we were best friends and you were married to other men, you were not my responsibility. You were my sister, but not my responsibility. As my wife, you are my responsibility. And a lot of black women would say, why do you call him daddy? Okay, that was it. That's what she had to say about that. I thought I thought that damn I thought the explanation was uh telling. It's too literal. It is too literal. It's too literal. Another, it's like it's, it was actually her basically explaining like it means what it means. <laughs> <laughs> What it sound Again, like. it's just a somebody that think they know more than other people trying to sound deep. Yeah, because you, <laughs> you really literally just said what you like. I didn't have a dad, and he was my dad. That's what you said in Pretty much. a long, long roundabout way. I'm just trying to figure out how he raising your ass at 35. <laughs> how about that growing to the woman you that she's becoming yet? now? You know what I'm saying? We all change. Uh, damn, change. I got to raise you too. So not only I got to get every answer right, I got to raise your ass. I got to pay for every meal. I got it. That's too much. Just okay. She didn't say all of that. Oh, okay. you want to talk about? Oh no, my bad. You good? Oh. <laughs> it was just shit lingering <laughs> hey, up in the back. Hey, we we getting straight to it. Right. Stuff lingering I'm in the back. I'm gonna see you my therapist's okay. phone number, man. Give man, me a you, call. You, you Fuck up. Speed out. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if anybody knows somebody that James could talk to, he won't talk to us. I man. ain't talking to nobody. Fuck y'all. <laughs> she a nice lady, man. I mean, she she a young girl too, man. She like 32, 33 I think. Give a shit. You think? And she bro, gone. Whoa, how, bro. hey, what's happening? That's even that's even more reason not for me to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh, Let's cut this out. Politics. Ah, too <laughs> late now. <laughs> Nigga, I'm never gonna edit anything you say. Yeah, that's <laughs> and not Johnny. <laughs> All right, up. so politics have been a little while. This past these past couple of weeks, I think everyone at at this point, everyone they mama is in the news for going to court, being in court, doing something. Mm-hmm. Um, so recently, Trump stormed out of court. Shout out to my nigga. He <laughs> shout out to him. ain't no he shout out to him. It. It's not giving him hype. He said it every time. <laughs> shout out to my nigga Trump. So apparently, he was uh in his he was at his his civil fraud trial, and he was facing off with uh, Michael Cohen, and he got you know flustered. And he just decided <laughs> that he was gonna storm out. He ain't got time for that broke nigga shit. And what he was saying to him, he had him on the stand, he had him sweating. Did you incite a riot? No, I didn't. Well, he it. was in the middle of testifying, so oh. at that point, I guess he just didn't want to do it anymore. But they did fine him for ten thousand dollars for violating his gag order. Damn, that ain't nothing to that Trump. That ain't nothing to Trump. Mm. Five mean, minutes ten, and yeah, that ain't a lot of money. He like, make that yeah. in probably two hours less, probably less than that. Facts. So, um, I don't know if he Just called him this, but he did say he was a rat, a liar, and a, a felon. He Who said called him a rat? Who in there thugging like that? Trump. Trump, Trump was referring <laughs> to so boss, bro. He called somebody a rat? <laughs> yeah. a rat. Man, shut your ass You up, see, Trump. he was trying to uh, tell people that uh, he wanted to box Biden. Man, he would kill that man. <laughs> yeah, he would. Like, nah, he's crazy. They about the same age. Ass. But uh, Trump free one rapper now. Let's say you call two. niggas oh two rappers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you call niggas rats. Hey. hey man, shut the fuck up. Nigga. That's crazy. Hey bro, Biden look like he throw fisticuffs. Not fisticuffs, right. man. <laughs> yeah. That nigga go to sleep. But he better you. dodge them punches because anything land on him, it's a rat. Oh Trump, like, Trump, Trump definitely gonna hit yeah. him with a quick. Your- one. <laughs> 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 He's definitely gonna <laughs> go to sleep on your ass. Goddamn. He be coming up the steps, gonna Shit fall. Sad. <laughs> Leader of the free world, old ass man. All right, so also we got um speaking of rappers, Benny Single, Benny Siegel. Shout out to Benny. He uh Benny. recently endorsed or publicly endorsed uh Robert F Kennedy Jr., who is wow. um <laughs> <laughs> who has officially said he is going to be a presidential candidate. RFK, a real nigga though. So no, for those that don't know, Robert no. Kennedy, <laughs> Robert Kennedy Jr. is the nephew of the former president John F. Kennedy and the son of Robert Kennedy Sr. Mm. So yeah, Benny Siegel said he's definitely endorsing him. He backs him. I did hear this week that he, that some Dems are trying to get uh, nominated in that party, but they're still getting rejected. I think it was something I was hearing on the radio. It's too hard. It's hard um, to uh, run against a sitting president. Shit, crazy. right? But I mean. Right now, that's the only one that's been backed as far as like a dem that's been backed by, you know, I guess a, a black 
hip hop artist. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, Waka Flocka, Lil Pump, Sexy Red have all backed Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 that nigga got a hell of a squad on. <laughs> Gang. And of course, Kanye West said he will not make a bid for the Oval Office in 2024. So I don't think he's officially endorsed anybody, but. Oh, that's definitely wait. Kanye, I'm voting for whoever Kanye voted. Okay. Well, nobody whoever Kanye endorses. If he would have ran, he would get everybody bad. Pretty much, that's what the endorsement is supposed to be. It's basically saying, I endorsed this candidate, so if you follow me, I would suggest you vote for him. I mean, but that don't mean they're going to vote for you, though, just because their favorite influencer. You'd be surprised, man. Some people like, yeah, the influencer, I never understood that. I understand political endorsements. Nigga, just this but I never understood the, the celebrity endorsement. But you said that that that's what they <laughs> needed to do to get more votes is to link up with the influencers and start campaigning through them to get the votes. Yeah, but I think it. I I I always feel like you should go um, around it. You shouldn't just be directly. I support this person and show up mm. at the campaign because that's like pandering. But you know, if they just randomly talking about them. In the middle of their live one time I feel like that's the endorsement you should do Like a sneaky endorsement Okay gotcha Don't just make a public statement about it Gotcha That's blatant Yeah Yeah That's just my opinion Alright and then finally we had um uh, Something else I thought was interesting Because we talked about it um, On another episode So Joseph Harding uh, 36 Of Ocala, Florida He is the lawmaker Who penned the state's controversial Don't say gay law um, he's actually been sentenced to four months in prison Damn, mm. bro. Not for far. Um, making false statements in connection with obtaining $150,000 in COVID-19 relief funds. God mm. damn, bro, the PPP. Oh, I thought he said gay. <laughs> so yeah, he was sentenced for fraud, money laundering, and money laundering and the false statements. Now his, yes. his attorney said he paid it back and the court is just trying to make an example of him. But mm. nonetheless, he has to serve. Four they getting come, all them niggas. He about to come out hard rules. too. I did I, four. I did four. I don't even think there's a time limit on anybody that got a PPP loan. Like if your pro, if your PPP loan was fraudulent, they investigating them shit to the fullest extent of the law. Well, or are they picking people up one by one. Absolutely. So the the Small Business Administration um, early this year estimated that fraudster fraudsters may have received more than $200 billion in federal COVID funds. That's so, crazy. yes, they are coming for that money. I ain't getting none of that shit. I mean, you you had to have, I think you had to have an LLC to apply, right? I think so. <laughs> well, I don't know, because I think, uh, I know somebody that did one with a uh, uh, doing business as, like a sole proprietorship. Okay. So I don't know if you had to have tax returns. I don't I, know how it works. Yeah, I think when it first hit the, like, hit, hit the public, you didn't really have to prove you had an LLC. You just had to prove that you were operating as a business. Mm-hmm. And then they, it, they tried to tighten up the guidelines down the line. Did the money have to be paid back? The money was supposed to be paid back um, because they are they were PPP loans. loans yeah. But a lot of people took that money, did whatever, or then said that they don't have it or their business went under because of COVID. Try to get it forgiven. Right. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I was going to say... Uh, Back then, when you were door dashing, you were able to get it. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah because did you get it? Yeah. Okay. Because I was door dashing. You were. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Show sure up. You were honest though. Yeah, man. I think you were. I ain't did nothing. Should have been crooked, nigga. You could have had like twenty, man, 30, crooked 40, niggas 50. be getting off. Yeah, crooked yeah. niggas get off. It ain't fair, bro. But yeah. then it's just so crazy because they never know when to stop. That's the whole that's thing. thing. I would never yeah, know when to stop because it's like I'll do it again. You're I'll right. do it again. I'll nah, do it again. You, you I right. feel like if you could successfully do something with the money, you you just leave it alone. Like if you if you sneak and do it one time, great. You just let it go, bro. Maybe two times, but just you no know, times get hard. Then you gonna do it again. And I feel like times is getting hard because what you do with the money you got the first time. Oh no, nah, you just weren't responsible with it. I mean, okay. you're not a responsible nigga if you scamming already. I'm gonna be honest with you. Money don't mean nothing to you because it ain't yours. I don't want to yeah, spend right. too long on this. But if you come up on some money, let's just say five thousand dollars. Let's just five thousand. Let's low ball. What you gonna do first? If I came up on five thousand five? Just five. Probably hit some bills. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna hit to some it. bills. How much do you think that you gonna run through <laughs> hitting bills? I know a stack right now. Yeah, I say probably a, a, a one to two thousand. So you try to tell me with the other with the other three or four? I'm going to act stupid. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we've discussed I, this already. I'm, so a, I'm a, doing stupid shit with big loads of money. I had a conversation with <laughs> one of my 
uncles. Still got my PPP loan. <laughs> he be doing the most. Um, I would take that five thousand and make it ten, and put that other five thousand somewhere else. Just in case I ever got to pay it back or give no, it she back. she got to go flip a quarter key. See, she a woman. <laughs> <laughs> See, she a woman. She ain't th- she thinking with both sides. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to save it for a rainy day, but it was raining well, on no, the no, day. No, no, no. I'm a that five thousand <laughs> that I flip it. Like when I add that five thousand on, I'm gonna do whatever I want. How you gonna flip it? Dude? Oh, I see what you said. You that gotta... is personal. How you gonna flip? It? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Dang. I'm just gonna hold on to it. <laughs> got him rolling dice. Right. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> Zemo, goddamn. No. Fuck nine. I was listening to our, that Rich Paul episode of Shay Shay, and Rich Paul said he was rolling dice for forty five hundred in high school. Yo, it sounded like I just heard a little bit of it, man. It sounded like Rich Paul had a bag when he was younger, like getting the jerseys from Atlanta. Yeah, type deal. Rich Paul like, been a hustler, bro. Yeah. So I ain't surprised, bro. Rich that Paul would be crazy. If I'm shooting in a dice game for forty five hundred, bro, I'm not losing that dice game. <laughs> I'm not it wasn't losing. to him, man. <laughs> these dice is loaded, nigga. I'm, I'm just saying everything if I lose. You get Hell shot. <laughs> Fucking loaded dice. You get 4, shot. Forty five hundred. All right, man. It's um, crazy. The main mass shooting. What happened with that? I didn't get this. Um. Okay. So we all heard of the very sad news that happened over. What was this? Yesterday, day before yesterday, yeah, I think two days ago. Yeah, like this was real. I feel recent. like it was Tuesday night, and we heard about it Wednesday morning. Okay, so um, when Wednesday, it was Wednesday. Lewis in Lewiston, Maine. Um, eighteen people were killed mm. and thirteen injured, um, in a mass shooting that took place at a bowling alley. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the suspect Robert Card. Um, was actually on the run up until right before we started recording. Um, they did find him finally, but unfortunately he was found dead with mm. a self inflicted gunshot wound. Mm. Um as of right now May he rest in piss. I'm not Facts. saying man, may he rest in nothing. I'm not saying why this happened or what the cause of it was, but he was a um I wanna say he was a US uh Army Reserve veteran and a gun instructor i want to say mm-hmm. so that yeah. made it a little bit more difficult for them to mm. find him yeah or they believe that that made it a little bit more difficult because that's he did what have they were some, saying in the barbershop some training they, they yeah. said he had training um but yeah no he's no longer considered a threat because he has been found deceased as God, of today damn hopefully they, they figure out not that it's going to bring any type of peace to the families of the 18 that were lost but hopefully they can just un- get a better understanding as to why this was necessary. Mm, yeah, they was targeting some people because wasn't it like some uh, minorities or something at this place? Well, I don't. It's like one or two, I seen. I don't know. Yeah, like it wasn't. It wasn't. I can't even say it was like a racist type thing because it was at just in time recreation bowling alley, and I'm gonna mess this up probably Schmegan Geese Bar and Grill. Mm, yep. That so was he it. just. Randomly started shooting. Niggas losing their mind. <clears throat> niggas is losing their mind. Man, be, be careful out there, everybody. These niggas is losing their mind. There's a whole war going on overseas. Yep. Pray for your loved ones. Love on your loved ones. If you got loved ones in the army, man, hug them tight. It's getting it's getting bad out there. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not paying attention to the news, you're gonna be taken by surprise. So you gotta pay attention to what's going on in the world. Yeah. When when you think you got a bad, it's always. Some- some other shit going on, so, yeah. So, so yeah, man. Rest in peace to those people, up. man. Those eighteen people that lost their lives, just enjoying the night out with the family. Yep. All right, man. On the lighter side, man. McDonald's offering free fries for this year. Now, Dang I don't really shit. fuck with McDonald's fries like that. They ain't on my top five, for real, for real. But McDonald's announced that they starting Friday. They will offer customers a free carton of medium fries with every Friday through the 31st of this year. Now, you do have to make a, at least $1 purchase through the McDonald's app. And with that purchase, you'll get fries. But you got to make your order from the app to get the fries. Get your Sprite. So, it was that, a prize? <laughs> yeah. There's something on the You prize. know, they say the McDonald's uh, Sprites, they say that shit can uh, <laughs> burn a hole in the carpet. That shit's so strong. Oh, that's because they got the Seriously? carbonation in there? Yeah. yeah, it's hella carbonation that's in crazy. that shit. All right, man. There's something on the fries, man. Yeah, they don't turn bad. Like they don't, they don't mold. Probably because you fried to death too. 
No, that's not real food. Nah, that's, that's a real potato. That's why they give mm. it. That Find the ingredients. <laughs> I don't say nah. Find the ingredients. <laughs> that's real. They probably put something on there that uh, you know, what I'm saying, make it last longer, taste a little better. But under all that, it's a potato. Mm-mm. Under all that, that starch and powder. You can't tell me that's a potato when I know over in Japan they making fake lettuce out of jelly. <laughs> The only thing I'd be out of jelly, is out of jelly. Yeah, it's Shout like a jelly them. substance, and then they can make lettuce leaves. Oh, that they package is all lettuce. right. So the first tastes like lettuce. The first ingredient is potatoes. I know. That's cap. <laughs> is it like one percent potatoes? No, it's potatoes. Okay. That's cap. Vegetable oil, mm-hmm. corn oil, soybean oil. So the oil that they they cook it in is a part of this, the Ooh. recipe. It's um, dextrose sodium. So it is a potato. I know my friend. That is from McDonald's. Why doesn't dot it com. expire? Why doesn't it? <laughs> because it's fried hard as fuck. <laughs> That's what I like that you, extra you, sodium. They, did, that? they did you altered that? the 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 chemical compounds in it so much. You heard that dextro sodium, Mike? That's it. That's that, it, right no, that's, there. Yeah, that's probably it mm-hmm. for real. Mm-hmm. There was hella chemicals in the oil that they're cooking it in. I say, yeah, all the oils oil, is dangerous. Oil, corn oil, oil, soybean oil, hydrated soybean Yo, oil, natural crazy. beef flavor. Only good one is wheat uh, and milk that's derivatives, oil. dextrose, sodium, acid, prospate, mm-hmm. to acid. maintain color, salt, natural <laughs> beef <laughs> flavor. Contains <laughs> hydrolyzed wheat, hydrolyzed yeah, so natural beef flavor, yeah, hydrolyzed milk starts uh, starting ingredients. So yeah, and it's a potato mixed all in. Makeup of your brain. Nah, that's true. That so, but you ain't gonna scare me. I'm happy. still eating my McDonald's. <laughs> you gonna eat that bullshit? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come smack that shit out at him. <laughs> McDonald's is bad. Don't I, do that shit. About four at a time. <laughs> All right, man. On Monday, man, I posted to YouTube an old clip of us discussing one of these basketball players by the name of Dwight Howard. Oh shit! And I was saying, <laughs> Dwight. I was saying at Don't the time, do that shit. I was saying, try to force me. Come on, dog. Come on, I was saying at the time that I needed foolproof. I needed a video. I needed some type of evidence that said, "Hey, man, Dwight Howard is gay. Yeah, yeah Homo sapien." And as of this week, Did documents. <laughs> yeah, it has it this week. Documents were released. Now I couldn't find the documents, so Stephen A. Smith would do the pleasure of reading what was in those documents as best he can. Let's just check out Stephen A. Smith. NBA star Dwight Howard <laughs> has denied sexually assaulting a man he met on Instagram and asked a court to dismiss the man's lawsuit. NBA legend admitted that he met his accuser via social media in May of 2021. Uh Howard said he exchanged text messages with Harper between May of 2021 and July 2021. It's a two-month span, several of which included sexually explicit content, such as photographs and videos. Hmm. Lord have mercy. Hold on. Let me just pause. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Uh. The former Los Angeles Lakers star said Harper came to his home on July 19, 2021. Howard admitted that they went to his room, took off their clothes, and kissed consensually. But Harper then claims Howard surprised him by introducing him to a man dressed as a woman. Harper said the man called himself Kitty. That nigga's dumb, man. <laughs> Now, when I think about the name Kitty, I think about Donald Sterling when he had his mistress and he got caught saying about Magic Johnson, why do you have to be friends with black people? I mean, what is it? What is it about black people? Why do you have to do that? And she said that that old man, Donald Sterling, was a little kitty cat. Kitty cat. Well, this man, his name is Kitty, and he began performing oral sex on Dwight Howard and Howard said he felt uncomfortable and didn't want to participate. I, I, I can't do this no more. He, he said Howard tried to touch his thigh and stoked his privates through his underwear and uh, stop, 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 stop. I can't, I can't, I, can't. I, I just can't. I, I can't do it. Stop, get rid of it, stop it, get it off my screen, get, get it off. Look y'all. <sighs> 
to each his own. All right, man. That's the just of what happened. That's all he got. And basically, what happened in that is basically this week, the white has come forward and confirmed that yes, he's I was there. Yes, there was an encounter. Although he is still, he's went live to not admit it. This is what that's what I really wanted to play. He's went he's went live to still deny it, but at this point. It's all factual proof. It's all there. The proof is in Just the pudding. Just be gay, bruh. Just I mean, be gay. Get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. <laughs> what, you did? <laughs> you want to know what people doing <laughs> in my bedroom and who they messing weird? with and sleeping with? You are weird. You're the weird one. Me. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard about that? Dwight, they said Dwight was in a oh, text message and a guy. Nigga, who cares? Who cares who I was text messaging? You just mad because I want text messaging. Yo, ugly. Okay, that's an admit. It, that's what it is. Okay. No, I'm not, Dwight. Get to it. So, I'm actually glad you're not text messaging right, me with, your, text net, with your filter <laughs> finger. <laughs> All right, man. All right, let's see. Big swole ass, six, seven nigga. So now, uh, one time NBA champion, I think Dwight Howard is, is the first homosexual NBA basketball player. So, how you guys feel about that? Oh, uh, he's definitely not in the NBA now. <laughs> yeah, he played for the Shanghai Sharks. <laughs> hey, there's no wonder why I go to stay where trying to pick right, that nigga up. You better watch out because they gonna stone you over there for doing that gay shit. They say nigga quick, quick as this nigga grab a rebound. Quick as <laughs> right, that nigga touching balls for real. What he has done, right? He's definitely touching balls before he grabbed people's ass. That's <laughs> why Kobe didn't fuck with that nigga, bro. Yeah, he's done some shit. Kobe smelt it on him. He was, was like, in nah, Utah. That Kobe's like, I know a white girl. You try to go chill. The white like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. That's what oh, Kobe this knew. Bitch, he knew it. Oh, oh, that's crazy. You can't say that. Okay. What? You can't call him a bitch for not wanting. No, to I was saying what bitches. Kobe said. Oh, okay. Kobe said that. Okay, okay. okay. Kobe called him yeah, a bitch. Kobe probably did call him a bitch. But I'm, I'm good on Dwight Howard, man. Yeah, we, he's it's straight. been confirmed. We've had our jokes on Dwight. It'll we probably be more years. to come. We waiting on Chris Bosh to come out. Nah, Chris ain't coming out, yeah, bro. We, we waiting on Chris, Chris got to come some, out. Oh, that's Chris. the other one? Chris we know stay Chris with some gay. baddies. Come on out of here, Chris. Yeah, he do, though. Chris ain't gay. That don't mean shit, though. That don't mean shit. It don't mean shit, man. Being with baddies don't mean... I'm pretty sure Dwight had some baddies. I mean, he got kids. Yeah, Royce from Basketball Wise. Yeah. Um, and he had uh the the uh, T. Cooper. Who else we said? Oh, was, yeah, He was T. dating Cooper. T. Cooper. Who else we said was gay? That's That's... Now, honestly, outside of the one that came out, I don't. I think that young man, what's his name? He don't play for the Rockets no more. Uh, he just got in trouble. Uh, oh, the one that just beat up his girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Did, is he the one that name. was humping his roommate? Nah, nah. Okay. He still played for the Rockets. The oh, you okay. talking about uh, Jalen? Uh, whatever. Jalen Green. Yeah, 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 he was humping his roommate. That that shit was Jalen Green was tearing that thing up, wasn't he? That nigga might. Nah, he was getting his thing tore up. <laughs> I thought Jalen oh, Green oh, was Jaylen doing Green, the tear. I thought. Oh, no, he was getting you it. The uh, one doing the other dude, uh, Joshua Christopher, or something like that. Oh, that's he was tearing up Jalen Green. He was the one. <laughs> they play too much. Yeah. Taking that boy to pound town. They play too much, bro. I remember we used to play gay. It was like it was a line. Ho. But the way you play gay. Ho 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 ho. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Y'all y'all don't understand. Y'all hold understand. Dwight. No, I don't understand. <laughs> How do you play gay? Yeah, bro? you know, like shit. Like we used to walk around neighborhoods sometimes and I ain't gonna say their names, but they are like uh they do the Sean Wayne's were like tucked in or tucked out. I'm like, oh go ahead with that gay shit, bro. Oh, okay. You got, you got, you can't just say that. <laughs> you can't just say that. You know, you can't tuck your, you tuck that. your dick between your, your legs, and then you say tucked in or tucked out, and okay. then your niggas be like, "Oh man, don't play that gay shit, bro." Okay. All right, All right never mind. Well, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> real quiet. <laughs> oh that man, man, crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> play okay, gay, never mind. All right, man. Hey, bro. Um, no. One last. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing on, no. yo, Dwight Howard played gay a lot I don't know if you've seen the clips nah, He played nigga, gay oh, a lot yo, he he had a lot game, of That nigga ain't playing play play That nigga's in a dramatic series He ain't playing or acting we no, all knew no I'm talking about when he was in the league He was oh. playing gay a lot He was grabbing a lot of ass Doing some suspect shit Didn't he stick his finger up somebody butt in the post one time Or some oh, shit like shit. that 
I would want KG. KG would beat the shit nah, out of him. Nah, he knew who to try. Yeah, he, no. he knew who to try, but he would do some he suspect shit He reportedly would do stuff like that. Yeah. And then, of course, the infamous, Probably Keon Dooling. The infamous catching him sitting down when he grabbed a dude penis beside oh, him. Oh, yeah, I seen that. that and dude. the dude knew, like, this nigga was like, yeah, he was in that locker room playing gay a lot. <laughs> Johnny then coined I the knew when that nigga's shoulders went down. He was he was on decline, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga had came in the game oh, with yeah. the big ass shoulders. <laughs> Next thing you know, them shits went down. Hey. And down. When you start taking and not giving, that's what happened. Nah, right? shit. Wow. You lose that muscle man. Oh, that nigga okay. was giving. <laughs> Last thing, man. <laughs> so Stephen A. Smith just said that Dwight Howard got hit from Kitty, but when you read it, it sounds like Dwight Howard was given forced head. Forced. And my thing is, that's where I see the liar. <laughs> Strong neck ass nigga. There is no such thing as forced head unless you're doing it to a woman. You cannot force head on a man. If a dude or a woman, whatever you into, is trying to suck your dick, have you ever in your life been like, move? <laughs> been like, move. <laughs> have you ever told a woman to, hey, no. So you get a mouth on it, you move it. I don't think it. I wow. have. I might have before once, here. but I don't has think I have. Has anybody in this room ever turned down head? Yeah. Okay, as a woman, I'm pretty sure. I've turned down head before. Not off. How did it go, though? You was like, stop, oh, stop. Oh, no, nah, I was like, shit, I'm straight right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, but you if, turn the, down if the warm head. mouth is wide <laughs> open approaching head. the penis, you not, stop. Ah. Nah, 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 not like that. It's that nigga like, lying. The well, only way I could say it's forced is if he could not, like, somebody's tied up. He wasn't though. Okay. When Dwight Howard was doing what he do, like you trying to say that you didn't force. You, come on, come on, it's head. <laughs> H E A. It got weird when the girl got well. The 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 girl Kitty. got introduced. Kitty got introduced into the mm-hmm. scene, and that's when the dude was like, "All right, this is enough. I'm not doing three. People. Not doing this. Not doing this." Who said Dwight? No, the guy no, the that's guy. filing oh, the charges okay. on yeah. Dwight. Oh. And the articles say that's why teams will not touch him because it's not the fact that he's gay. They get to hide behind the fact that he's going to court for rape charges right now. He he assaulted this man. That's why and he that's really top the, 100. Probably. That's really the bigger conversation that's being missed. Everybody... <laughs> Everybody talking about what you talking about for he didn't play last year. No, year. remember when they no. did the top one hundred last year and they everybody was mad that White Howard was on, oh, on, they on the list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Top seventy five. Oh, yeah. Y'all was mad, huh? That's why. Well, they knew. <laughs> yeah, but the big like I said, the bigger conversation around it is nobody's talking about the assault. Right. Oh, yeah. If he did allegedly assault this man, it's it's not funny. It's actually kind of fucked up. This because nigga's seven so feet focused tall. on whether or not he's now, gay. Yeah, he's gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it is what it is. Bro, you still a man. You better swing for the fences on this nigga. <laughs> He's seven feet, though. I'll Bro, swing it up. You better goddamn get I'm, them kneecaps right, nigga. The, nigga the basketball the players Fuck came. It. The dick out. I'm punching. <laughs> <laughs> the dick is out. I'm punching it. <laughs> Feedback in uh-huh. the fence. Look at it. Look at it. Don't stop it. Just keep going. Swap it. It's crazy, man. Um. One last thing I did want to play on that. I, I seen this before we was getting ready. Did I send it to the group? Now, this shit was funny because J- James just said something that made me think about it. Um, when a man gets sexually assaulted, this shit is fucked up. Uh, let me see. Force head is crazy, though. Force head is wild. <laughs> All right. This is Dave Chappelle talking about what James talking about. Uh, <laughs> what James say? He say, that y'all, y'all still a man? You might want to get up and fight him. Raping men in Houston. That's the most gangster shit. So far, uh, <laughs> like like seven men have already come forward in the Houston area and reported this motherfucker, which which means he must have raped thousands. <laughs> that's a tough phone call for us to make. <laughs> it's not like when you get raped, ladies. There's no. Uh, Society don't give a fuck about male rape. This ain't no hotline for us. <laughs> Man get raped, you just gotta get up and walk that shit off. Huh? <laughs> Got raped. <laughs> caught me slipping. <laughs> that nigga said caught me slipping. Nah, Chappelle. Chappelle pissed some people off last week, didn't he? Uh, I, I, I wonder, I, uh, he had a show here in Charlotte this week, man. Yeah, he might have <laughs> took that joke out of the routine. 
Yeah, I wonder. Man, look, Chappelle be saying some shit all the time. Oh, they but say, that shit be funny as hell, though. They're saying this current comedy special is going to be one to be cancelable. Oh, like, he's trying going, hard yeah, now. He's going hard. He's yeah. like, I got to get canceled. They're saying the whole lineup is going crazy. Like, they not playing. Everybody that I know that went Thursday, they liked it. Yeah, I wish I could have went. But I come from an era where people don't get offended as often. Nah, yeah. nah. We laugh at everything. Yeah. I can't remember uh, being offended about stuff when I was younger. Except for, like a white person saying the N-word or something. But then yeah. he just got their ass whooped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Um, all right. This is our new segment, Comedy Corner. We don't know if that's official name yet. All right, Johnny, man, introduce your clip. All right, so mine come from uh, the boy Darren Brand. Um there was a meme that had one got to go and it was Thanksgiving uh, side dishes and he breaks down why he would eliminate certain side dishes and why he would keep them. Let's hear it. Okay. Well, since Thanksgiving is in two days, let's talk about it. <laughs> also, if you in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm there all weekend. One show Friday, two, one show Thursday, two show Friday, two show Saturday. Pull up Jacksonville, Florida, the comedy zone. Now, one has to go from Thanksgiving. Collard greens, never. Turkey, fried, I can't let go. Bake, I'm okay. And listen, you're a vegan, pest, healthy, all that. Listen, this, at one, once upon a time, you did eat all these items. So relax, okay? Uh, macaroni and cheese, never. Rolls of biscuits, never. Dressing, never getting rid of it. Candy yams, never getting rid of it. Potato salad. That's where we stop and discuss. Oh, shit. Now, for <laughs> me, hmm? for me, mm -hmm. po potato salad gives me more of a cookout, <laughs> Yo, summertime feel food. <laughs> so I think I'll be, now, do I enjoy potato salad? Absolutely. The kind my people make, my family, but I don't necessarily need it at Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Potato salad go with a burger. Hot dog, that's that's a summer item. I'm not tripping. Ham, never. Because ham for Thanksgiving is used for leftovers on Friday with breakfast. And cabbage, never. Between cabbage and potato salad, but I keep cabbage. Well, since Thanksgiving is in two yeah, days. I'm agreeing right, with him, too. Right. Potato salad got to go. Why, though, man? Because the same reason he said it's more of a, a summertime cookout food. Okay, okay. I've never had potato salad at Thanksgiving. I don't think I, I have. Might have that's deviled what, eggs I have. That's what I yeah. come for. Cabbage can go. And I love cabbage, but cabbage can get the fuck nah, on. Yeah, that's the cabbage, cabbage be smacking. Yeah. I, I remember, like the, I remember the cabbage. Asked the vegan. I remember the cabbage, <laughs> cabbage back in the day that used to be with the uh, the sausage. They oh used yeah, to cut up yeah. a kale balsam, put it up. And, yeah, boy, you talking boy. about some good ass oh, yeah. cabbage? Yeah, that's so, some great cabbage. What goes bro. for a vegan then? The what? potato salad is gonna go for you. You gotta and have all that. that shit. Gotta get the fuck up out of here. I say all that probably vegan. Except not vegan candy friendly. Yams, I said candy, candy yams. yams. Ooh, <laughs> that's probably my favorite right I there. Hate candy. Especially Who when they touch the, the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. Jesus. The juice. The juice from the candy yams might touch your turkey. Might touch your ham. Man, hell no. Nah, I can't get rid of them candy yams. <laughs> 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 With all the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what he was referring to. <laughs> all right, man. So I got a clip. I got a clip from a guy named Hell Mike nah, Diablo. Now, this guy's on the street. He's doing interviews, and he on the streets, and he run across a man. Uh, it looks like they're in Houston, Texas. And uh, I think he's asking him questions about, like, what's changed on the dating scene. Now, I found this funny because this nigga sounds like Pimp C. Oh, this is my uncle. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> said yeah. it too. All right, let's go. God damn. Why do you feel like dating? God damn. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> water, cake ad, nigga. God damn. Why do you feel like dating in 2023 is so hard? Because of access, my nigga. Back in the day, access was limited. Like, before that was a car, motherfuckers, especially niggas, you got to walk six, seven miles for the nearest shot of cop. Nigga ain't trying to do that. You got a bitch at the high. That's why you had big families. Mm -hmm. You had seven, eight kids because a nigga had to work and come home, get some pussy, go to sleep, wake up, do it tomorrow. Right, that's fast. I nigga could travel and go get some cop. Mm -hmm. Wait, you said a nigga could travel and get some cock? Yeah, cop. 
<laughs> my internet is crazy. Why you gonna do me like that? Right. We're getting shit. good. Mm. Wait. You said a nigga could travel and get some cock. Yeah, cock, nigga, cock, nigga. That that don't. You young. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, you no, I'm just making sure. Yeah, you young, right, my nigga. Yeah. And a nigga could travel and get some cock. Cake okay, ass, nigga. When they came with the TV, <laughs> niggas could sit in front of a TV and see bad bitches. And then he look at his hoe. But now you got social media. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you could turn on that motherfucker down and see all the baddest bitches in the world. The bitches is fucked up and the mm -hmm. niggas is fucked up. So it's making it hard on everybody because everybody got unrealistic expectations in a relationship. These bitches... They want a nigga with money. They want to build the bow. Bitch, let me tell you something, fucking bitch. I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth, fucking bitch. You hoes, y'all try to put a nigga through a whole bunch for that little fuck-ass pussy, fucking bitch. The most shit you put a nigga through for that pussy, fucking bitch, the most shit he going to put you through after he get the pussy, fucking bitch. Mac. Straight out of Texas, man. I can tell by that accent, man. Was that a haku? Let me tell you something, fucking bitch. Yeah, I appreciate you sending me that. I was at my, I was sitting there at my desk this week, dying off that shit. All right, D man, introduce introduce your shit. Nothing much to introduce. It's relatable. All right, okay. Who posted the content? <laughs> you know who posted it's a it? random meme, ain't it? No, I don't know who posted it. It's just this little furry character that says rude shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch. Spread me apart. Lick me with your tongue. Grab my sides and eat my cream. And that's how you eat an Oreo cookie. Where was your mind at? Oh, he got me. He got me. Yeah. I thought that was a Meg Thee Stallion line. Yeah, it definitely sounds <laughs> like that. Let me, I believe, no, I believe. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> she said something like that. All right, man, we do got an award, man. Person of the week. <laughs> Who did you say? You got a person of the week. Oh, I thought Johnny Jay was pointing to himself. I rocks. thought Johnny was pointing yeah. to himself. Oh, no, nah, I was um, hoping it was me. Uh, no, person of the week. Uh, I want to yeah. shout out Keith Lee. Ooh. So we know oh, he does all the um, videos to like review food that he tries, different places that he goes. Um, he recently posted a video uh, reviewing, reviewing some food in Atlanta because he's in Atlanta or he was in Atlanta recently. Um, for a place called Juicy Jerk and a friend of the owner sent him a, a message basically saying the her father which is the owner of the restaurant passed away recently she's taking it over they've already had to close one location but mm. the food is bomb and he judged it like 9.7 out of 10 because I guess it was really that good but they have picked up in business um, since him posting like two days ago that's, what's oh, that's pretty cool so might be a spot for a first date. Yeah. yeah. They, they got some jerk ribs. Let me watch this nigga house then. Jerk ribs sound good right now. <laughs> Tell this nigga, let me hop in his DMs. Let me watch his house. <laughs> he did. better have me watching everybody. Again. I did almost uh, forget, man. Tyler Perry got a four year deal with uh, Netflix to drop content. So I can't wait to oh see what kind of content we're going to get. The last shit he Tyler did Perry. with Netflix oh, was when the, they had the fucked up wig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that old man was beating on that uh, old. I mean, that young man was beating on that old woman. Yep. Yeah. He got money now. And he got a studio. So he it, gonna, don't bro, it, it don't matter. It don't matter with Tyler. Well, Tyler if, Perry cheap regardless. If, if, to be out here making hits, bro. Tyler can come. <laughs> Up with something. You think Tubi got hey, yeah, Tubi be Tubi wild. Guys. Sometimes I be seeing Tubi clips. I'm like, this can't be for real. Like, <laughs> y'all yeah, need to put the movie name of this. So I can go fact check so this. So Tubi, this I feel like real. Tubi is like a a bigger streamline streamline network for like, well, our lady listeners. You know when you go get your hair braided and they put on the African movie. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's really what those movies mm. are. Yeah. But those African movies are on Netflix now. Some of them that they uh, a that lot you watch. of them a lot are. of them African movies uh -huh. on Netflix. So I feel like you know Tubi is just kind of picking up that B side content. Yeah, mm. well they well, doing a good job at it. I yeah. like when them niggas get shot, boy. They be dramatic <laughs> as hell. <laughs> 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 That nigga take three years uh, to fall. He don't turn. Did the nigga say way. one word before he finally died? <laughs> Bitch, me love it. <laughs> <laughs> I seen one. The nigga was running and he tripped and fell or some shit. It was like a blooper, and I think when he trips and falls, he don't even bother to get up to keep running or some <laughs> shit like that. It was it was weird. I was just like, yo, two one take. They got one take in them. 
That shit. Crazy. They might only have enough money for the one take, man. They might only have enough money for the one take. All right, man. That's only. Uh, that's been episode two eighty, man. Thank you for joining us today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. You can find us weekly Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud. And if you're watching this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Other than that, man, final thoughts. Waiting on that Alan Cross too. <laughs> what is that? It's a Tyler Perry movie. Oh, <laughs> oh, Alex, oh Cross, Alex, Alex Cross. Cross. Alex Cross. <laughs> That wasn't even his movie. <laughs> nah, it wasn't. He started it. Wasn't. Yeah, he was just acting. He better oh, make they a did part find that, that little 16 year old girl from Monroe, Lauren Heath. I'm glad they found oh, her. Oh, they found her? Yeah. Where she, she was at? Some, uh, this dude she had met online came all the way from Oklahoma to pick her up. And they was driving across the country. They found her in Missouri. Missouri. That's crazy. She was from here? Yeah, Monroe. That's crazy. I'm glad, yeah. they, I'm glad they found her alive. Me too. And you don't never hear that. She know not to do that shit again. Yeah, I, if I'm but, her parent, she no more internet for life. But yeah, he wild done. as hell for coming all the way over. Like that's how desperate he was. That's intentional. That's crazy. That's yeah. how desperate he was. What's that, that show that's that, on Netflix that you was uh, with? Ah, uh, you talking about Wednesday night? It's on. Uh, it's, it's on Hulu. Ain't it's it? on Pe- Peacock. Oh Peacock yeah. Peacock with old buddy down with in Mark, the basement. Mark Paul yeah. Goosler. Ooh, Childhood mm-hmm. favorite. Is uh, it missing? Missing, uh, abducted. Uh, I think it's called missing. Kidnapped. Uh, missing. It might be right, missing. missing. I it looks interesting. I, nah, I that show pretty good. I, I got. I was watching some. I was watching the Fast and the Furious movie, and it just came on. I was like, this show pretty good. I watched two episodes. How long is it gonna take y'all to find out if I'm missing? Mm. Uh, I mean the fact that you don't really respond to the text yeah. messages yes. it, like, you know, nah, we'll that nigga it's been yeah. three months nah he's straight he's yeah, if, you, if you don't show up on Friday if you don't show up on Friday we'll know yeah and like, not randomly 9 o'clock nigga running, ain't here. You know, I feel like people will come looking girl. for you man y'all don't come looking would. for me man don't ask, nah people gonna ask us where you at I'm like oh yeah, you ain't heard from them yeah they will nah you ain't heard from them we'll be the first person they come to yeah, yeah, yeah no. for sure. Yeah, I'm looking at John. Nah, I bet not find you doing no dumb shit. Huh? Driving to Oklahoma, oh, yeah. right? Nah, I ain't gonna be doing no dumb shit. <laughs> if I get go missing, some aliens got me. Just know that. <laughs> oh, that mean you in heaven? Come that's back as shit a, right Come there. back as a clone. That's, that's your <laughs> shit right like, there. Being with the right about this nigga no more. Ever since he got abducted by the aliens. <laughs> yeah, they play with his he booty holes. Hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga go after pay now. That nigga ain't fucking with Claire no more. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, that ain't Jay. <laughs> right. That is not Jay. They got an affirm account. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga only fuck with Claire. How much you charge? <laughs> that is not him. <laughs> right. This nigga charged me $100 to pressure wash my crib. That's an insane price for him. He $50. Man, that's fucked up. Yeah, nah, damn, that's fucked up. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. I am doing houses for 135 if you have a one level and a two level will be two. Oh, so they got different prices now. Yeah. All right. 75 for a driveway, 25 for a trash can. Sorry to take up my time. No, you <laughs> time. Go ahead, bro. My you little commercial spot. Podcast brought to you by Jay Liners. <laughs> Go ahead, advertise, advertise. <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got no sponsorship on here. If it's no dirty, money. we gonna spray it. Oh, Get, yeah, to it. Right. Get to it. Get to a little spray. That's it. Use the code JJ and get 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> now you about to get me sued. Hell no. Cause that nigga not doing ten percent off right now. <laughs> that nigga say look at the bank account and coughed. That nigga doing ten percent up. <laughs> right. <laughs> that shit All right, crazy. man. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. I'm signing off for D. I'm signing off for James. I'm signing off for Jukebox Johnny. Listen, man, we want you guys to love the life you live and the people in it. Find the positive in every situation and. Live- Dad, Dad, are you on the radio?